What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm gonna check out why Liv Morgan winning at SummerSlam is best for business. Um, I've been pretty much saying this since before Rhea Ripley came back. Liv needs to win, she needs to win only because you don't need to take a title off her right now. The chase is gonna be better for Rhea Ripley, and obviously, this whole situation with dominic is going to play a very an integral part into her winning uh and retaining the championship once again have live take advantage of the situation have dominic ultimately end up betraying rhea ripley and you can build up rhea as a bigger baby face you know it's crazy how the roles have su switched between live and rhea ripley now and it just makes sense to have live um, still retain here because you can tell some more stories going forward you don't want her to just instantly lose on her first match uh well Rhea's first you know Rhea coming back and she have her title defense against Rhea and instantly lose because then you can't go nowhere from there so we'll see what they have to say here this is uh by um sports key to wrestling so let's see what they have to say SummerSlam Rhea Ripley vs. Liv Morgan for my Women's World Championship. After returning to WWE, Rhea Ripley challenged Liv Morgan for the Women's World Championship at SummerSlam in Cleveland. This all started when the devious Liv Morgan attacked Rhea Ripley and injured her shoulder right after her triumphant match at WrestleMania, forcing mm -hmm. Mommy to relinquish the I don't Women's know why he World said it like Championship. That. Following this, Liv announced that she she would take everything away from Rhea, her former tag team uh -huh. partner who also ruined and injured her career to some yeah. degree. Not too long after this, she went on to win the Women's World Championship with the help of Dominic Mysterio. Yeah, Mommy's little dirty Dom in the Judgment Day faction helped her, or did he mean to do it? It isn't clear. Dom never wanted to help Liv, at least it appeared that way. In fact, he wanted to help her lose so that he could avenge mommy's injury but he accidentally helped her morgan successfully defended her title against becky lynch in a follow-up steel cage match on monday night raw and again it was dominic's unintentional mm -hmm. interference unintentional yeah and once again i do think it's going to be the same way but this time at SummerSlam, i don't know if it's going to be unintentional it just depends on how they play this out but i do think once again dominic's going to be the reason that Rhea does not get the championship. Yes, that helped her secure the title victory. She then laid a big old smooch, a kiss on Mysterio on the lips as the match came to a close. And yes, it left us all spilling our collective tea. Liv Morgan began pursuing Dom after this, but members of the Judgment Day tried to keep them apart. Despite Dom insisting that he had no involvement with her at all. Like, guys, like, no. There were instances where they appeared on usually close sparking speculation <laughs> so right here. the tea we're spilling it <laughs> hmm, what's going on here <laughs> however Liv proved to be a blessing for the judgment day that they never expected as she helped Finn Balor and JD McDonough win and defeat Why like Miz that? and McDonough. for the world <laughs> tag team championships she even tagged with Dom to face his father Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega and helped him defeat yes his his very very unfortunately upset father. Following this, Dom and Liv almost kissed in the ring once yeah. again. And that's when Rhea Ripley finally made her comeback. Yeah, she chased Morgan away and glared at Dom, who appeared embarrassed. The next week on Raw, she challenged Liv for the Women's World Championship at SummerSlam, which was expected. And now it's official. Liv Morgan will defend her championship against the former champion, Rhea Ripley, at the show of the summer. Now the question is, who will win? Will Rhea Ripley solidify her return by reclaiming the title she never actually lost, or will Liv Morgan find a way to secure her victory and even more revenge upon her former tag team partner? Stand back. There's a new wrestling quiz coming through. Check out Brain Buster. Street claim that Rhea deserves revenge on Liv for what she did. She took her belt. She took her boy. Well, we're going to make the controversial choice of going with Liv Morgan to win this big match. It's no. not even controversial. It just makes sense. 
It makes sense. Just because she has a lot more to do with the title currently, but because WWE can tell an even longer, more captivating story with Morgan and Ripley, and we all know yes. that Triple H and his creative team are a fan of long-term Term. storytelling. Yes. Liv and Rhea have a storied history together in WWE, and they have an opportunity for Liv to create a memorable rivalry between the two. They began working together as a tag team back in March of 2022 and quickly became a fan favorite. At WrestleMania 38, they competed for the women's tag team titles and on night two in a fatal four-way it saw Sasha Banks and Naomi win with Liv Morgan taking the pin. The duo of Morgan and Ripley lost another match to Banks and Naomi on April 18th, 2022's episode of Money at Raw. Yeah, this this is seems so long ago. changed for them. Ripley finally had enough and attacked her smaller in-ring partner in the ring giving Morgan a riptide. The next week, Ripley explained her actions backstage saying that the attack happened because she had finally opened her eyes. In the meantime, Rhea mm -hmm. joined the purple and black bad guy group, The Judgment Day, and went on to beat Morgan in a one-on-one -on -one match. Uh -huh. Following this, Ripley started torturing Dominic Mysterio, causing him to betray his own father, his own flesh and blood, and align with The Judgment Day. Rhea and Dom started an on-screen relationship that has certainly captivated and interested <laughs> fans and made for a whole lot of memes. Yeah. We'll come down on Dom later in this video. Don't worry, he'll get his. Now let's return to Liv. They cross paths a few times after this. During the Women's Royal Rumble in 2023, Rhea entered as the first contestant, followed by Liv Morgan at number two. They both lasted until the final two, where Rhea ultimately eliminated Liv to win the match. Ah, Liv, you want the revenge, but you aren't getting it here. Uh -huh. These two were becoming fierce rivals, with encounters intensifying between each other every time they faced off and obviously personal issues brewing under the surface constantly between them and it works this works because once again Liv has a point and i've seen a, a few people on twitter Liv is not the bad person here even though what she's doing now is you know the same thing that she was you know ridiculing Rhea for it it's one of those things where it makes sense she had been victimized and attacked and injured from Rhea Ripley, someone that she considered a tag team partner or friend and betrayed. So at some point, a person tired of getting betrayed and attacked and hurt, they're going to do, they're going to dish out the same thing you dished out to them. The question is, at what point do they change? Where does it stop? So that's why I'm saying it works perfectly for her retaining because you can really build even more story between these individuals and you know you can really potentially stretch this out even longer than just one match or even two matches Rhea won the Smackdown Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair in a show stealer at WrestleMania Great match 39 too. which was later rebranded as the Women's World title she went on to have a dominant run with the title and beat everyone that she could the next development Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan's story happened in July of 2023 when Ripley savagely broke Liv's shoulder this was done to write Morgan off TV mm -hmm. who had injured her shoulder in real life yet another setback for Liv Morgan Morgan mm -hmm. returned at the 2024 Royal Rumble and then went on her revenge tour an iconic twist Morgan who was gone for six months because of the injury given to her by Ripley uh, was now the one accidentally injuring mommy's own shoulder it was shoulder for shoulder for real this time in a backstage brawl mommy had to relinquish her world title and this was actually kind of a good thing it it allowed WWE to capitalize on Rhea not being there and emphasize a full-blown Liv Morgan heel turn. Oh, yes. Actually having the power and manipulating others around her while Rhea wasn't there. Rhea was getting huge reactions from fans, so it was a perfect opportunity to flip the heat and make someone a real heel. Now with Rhea... It works because we knew Rhea was becoming a babyface. And there's only so much they could do. So, and it's unfortunate the injury, but the timing of the injury worked because you can do that double turn. 
And now we're in the situation we're in now. Back from injury, fans are expecting her to destroy Liv Morgan for all the things she did and took her man and disrupted her faction and took her title. And of course, it's Rhea's turn for revenge. Well, that's the safe route to put the title back on Rhea as she's still a very popular female superstar. But safe isn't always the route to go right now. Yeah, there's a little bit more juice in this berry to be squeezed. There's a lot of possibility of Liv being the champion. Number one, she is doing the best work of her career right now. Truly Mm -hmm. telling a story with a simple look to the camera and dropping the title will hurt her moment. Her promos could be better, but I do think character-wise, this is the best Liv has ever looked. I've never talked about Liv Morgan this much until this year, essentially. This is what they're doing. This is the best character work they've done for her, bro. Literally the best. Once again, in ring, it's okay to be desired. The promos are hit and miss, but her character work and what she's doing, it's perfect. It works. It's believable. You can buy into it. It's good. It's good. Momentum. Second, she has to beat Rhea Ripley to conclude her yes. revenge tour. Remember, it was Rhea who started all, all of this of it, by yeah. turning on Liv those years ago and later injuring her. So, yeah, even if you like Rhea more, you have to understand that Liv Morgan, as the villain, thinks that she's the hero, hero. in her story. Yeah. Finally, chasing the title would allow Rhea to become an even bigger babyface. Like the I story said. will culminate with Rhea defeating Liv to reclaim her title, but not at SummerSlam 2024. Instead, Liv will retain her title in this hypothetical scenario of ours at the biggest party of the summer, and Rhea may not be happy at this party. But Mm -hmm. how will this happen? The answer lies in Dominic Mysterio. We mentioned that Liv has been persuading Dominic for months ever since Rhea got injured, even though Dom has been reluctant trying to deny her romantic advances. There is a chance that he will betray mommy to be Liv's man, Morgan's man. What a better place to do it than SummerSlam. The biggest sign that Dom will cost Rhea the match is that Liv stated that she has developed feelings for uh-huh. Mysterio. Oh, you, you don't say? Rhea has a history of being domineering and sometimes cold to Dominic, berating him and seeing yep. Liv treat him with was, some level of adoration, love, and dare I say... This is... I was saying this. Eventually, it's going to turn. He's gonna... Yeah, we saw him Monday Night Raw. Everything seemed good, but once again, I think maybe the inclusion of the J situation and him feeling some type of way. And once again, there may be a separate conversation where Liv is like, I don't know why you take that from her. It's all about Liv manipulating Dominic into thinking, I'm better for you. I've treated you better. She doesn't care about you. She says, up to, she says to you that you're hers where in actuality, you know, I want you to be mine. I want us to want each other. It's it's that mind game that they're playing with Dominic, and I think Dominic ultimately, ultimately is going to fold again, and this time it's going to cost Rhea the title. It, respect? Yeah, respect for Dominic Mysterio is a, is a weird thing to say. Maybe that gives Dirty Dom some motivation to support her over Rhea. Wow, yeah, wrestling is a soap opera for sure. Also, Rhea said that Dominic belongs to sure. her. No one's your pet, Rhea. Calm down. This may not sit well with Dirty Dom, who maybe has a little bit more confidence since Rhea hasn't been around. And there is a chance that he will feel offended and cost Mommy the title. Finn and JD of Judge Day, they're on the sidelines in this whole thing. They won the World Tag Team Championships because of Liv. Liv. And they might also help her, adding further complications to Ripley's quest for revenge and the title. Liv and Dom will certainly be the most hated couple in WWE when this happens. Remember Edge and Lita mm-hmm. during the Ruthless Aggression days? Yeah. This will get a similar kind of heat to it. Dominic already struggles to speak in front of crowds due to the relentless boo. He has nuclear lava hot heat. How much more heat will he get 
with the reaction of him betraying yes. Mommy. This will turn both Liv and Dominic into Rhea Ripley's arch nemesis. You break my heart. You take my title. You take my faction. You take my man. This go. is too much. Rhea will have to overcome all of the heartbreak and loss and defeat to become an even more brutal version of herself. Triple H likes the slow burn and plenty of build, and SummerSlam is the perfect place to stretch out this issue between Rhea and Liv Morgan. How far they can stretch it, I don't know. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Are you with Rhea Rip? I'm, I'm all for it, man. This was a good video. I'm going to go ahead and give it a like. Because he pretty much expounded on the things that I have been talking about when it comes to this. Like, it just makes sense. If anything, this is why Bad Blood is such a good pay-per-view to have them bring him back. Because guess what? They can extend this to Bad Blood because it's gotten, it's going to get to that point. They have Bad Blood again with each other. And understandably so. So, so this is good. I love this. Hopefully it extends to Bad Blood. And after that, you can kind of maybe get the title back to Rhea and didn't do something else but right now it's just best that we just go ahead and, and call it Liv Morgan needs to win Liv Morgan should win and Dominic Mysterio needs to be the person to cost Liv Morgan I mean to cost Rhea Ripley simple as that comment down below let me know do y'all agree that Liv Morgan needs to retain at this year's SummerSlam and do y'all think Rhea Ripley should get it right back at SummerSlam. y'all let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support y'all shown on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace